Hace mucho tiempo, en un país muy lejano, había una vez una niña quien prefirió jugar en cambio de hacer sus tareas de matemática. Griselda, ¿ya hiciste tu tarea de matemáticas? I'd like to show you how we did this shot. Here's the original footage of a 100 to 1 scale model with its blue background. It's a little wobbly because our crane was made out of some sticks, a broom handle, and some string, but we can work with this by sizing up the footage a little bit and doing some manual uh, image stabilizing. I keyed out the blue background and put in the 3D sky to see what it would look like. I sized up the footage a bit, added some null objects as reference guides uh, to then manually move the footage around to stabilize it a little bit. The next thing was to make some perspective lines to find out where the horizon is. Finding the horizon we can then move the sky up and down and coordinate it uh, a little bit with the tilt of the camera in the foreground footage. Then, using the same perspective lines, we can coordinate some pan into the sky so that it coordinates with the pan and tilt of the camera of the foreground footage also. And it seems to work reasonably well. I then put some background hills in which were composites of model trees. I tightened them to the sky layer so that they moved with the sky. With more background elements, camera shape becomes more obvious, so more accurate shot stabilization is always being worked on. In this next shot, you can see some improvements in the stabil stabilization of the foreground footage, and it still has a long way to go yet, uh, but now it's time to put some mid-ground objects into the shot. The temporary mid-ground objects not only uh, need panning and tilting, but also need some zooming as well. So the closer you get to the camera, the more the mid-ground object seems to, uh, and has to mimic the foreground footage. So it has to do more or less the same as the front. There is software available to get camera movement from your footage and then turn your layers into 3D and duplicate camera movements that way, but I don't have the resources for that, so all of this was done 2D uh, manually. It was time then to add some audio to see how the feel of the shot was coming along and at the same time keep improving the panning, tilting, zooming and the stabilization of the footage. It's coming along but it's still got a little way to go yet. I had a few seconds of still at the front of the footage so that I can later do a blur defocus effect and then I changed the mid-ground object for a composite of model miniature trees which I thought was a bit better and also some 3D ground coverages. I smoothed the entry into the beginning tilt, smoothed and coordinated the foreground footage some more and added some random puppets at the end just to see how the shot will come into the first part of the dialogue of the story. And then I worked a little more on the stabilization and coordination of the whole lot and at this stage it ca gets exponentially more time to get those little jitters out. You spend an extraordinary amount of time adjusting them pixel by pixel, but it comes together quite nicely.